Hey y'all. How y'all doing? Who's the uh, what's his name? That actor comedian. In the beginning of the pandemic, I was obsessed with him. Oh hey y'all. How y'all doing? It always makes me so happy. So today I'm making pumpkin bread. And I was going to make pumpkin bread normally. And then I realized I talk to myself when I make pumpkin bread regardless. So might as well make it a whole cooking show. And, and people actually will watch me. And I'm not talking to myself. So let's get cooking. I have a pan ready. I'm going to... Gently grease it, and then you're supposed to also. I'll save. I'll save the live. I'll save it. Also, line it with some parchment paper. Wait, where did I? Oh yeah, this way. Okay. All right. And so we're gonna make pumpkin bread. I'm very excited. I've never made pumpkin bread, but I just feel like I have to. From Belgium. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. You'll also see that I have to open a can of pumpkin. And I am, I don't know where this came from, but I just like, I don't like opening cans. It scares me. So this will be interesting. You'll witness that for sure. But, um, okay. Let's begin. What do I start with? Okay, the flour, cinnamon, salt, a baking powder, baking soda, nutmeg, and cloves. That's a lot. Oh, hey y'all. This is so cute. Um, who watches Game of Thrones? Because I got a lot to say and I, I do want to discuss. But I don't want to give spoilers if anybody. Hey, okay. Yeah, you know what? I am going to talk about Game of Thrones while, while I'm doing this because I'm just curious about, does anybody have opinions on the ending? Can we talk about this? Because I really don't know how I feel. I just finished it and I'm not impressed. Like, I don't know, I don't know what a better ending would have been. I can't tell you that. I don't know what I wanted to happen. And obviously it's Game of Thrones. Like it couldn't have ended perfectly. Like I'm not saying I wanted everybody to have a happy ending. I think I would have been okay with even more tragedy. But it just felt weird. All of that stuff with Jon Snow. Like so much development. Nick! Nick! Sorry guys, Nick came on the live stream and I haven't spoken to him in forever. So I'm adding two and a half cups of flour. <laughs> I love that I'm trying to talk and do this. Like maybe this wasn't a good idea. Um, yeah, I didn't hate it either, but you're right. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it. Yeah, did anybody like the ending? You know it's fictional, right? Okay, Mr. John Bear 90. I think I think I'm very aware that Game of Thrones is fictional. I think it would be safe to say that I understand that white walkers and dragons and all that voodoo hoodoo is fictional. What the fuck? Um, yeah, okay, well, I'm glad that we're all on the same page here, that that was just disappointing. And, like, for Daenerys, I, I don't know. You know, like, it was just, I, I could, un, I could see that happening, but it just kind of felt like it came out of nowhere. Like, I don't hate that she turned out to be the way she was, but it felt 
felt forced. It felt out of nowhere. I don't know. Okay, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Oh, God. Maybe I used up the cinnamon. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I, when I, when I bake, I'm like a, I'm like a Disney princess out here. I will hum. Hit it up. <laughs> now I can't. Okay, wait, where's the cinnamon? Gosh. I'm trying to read if anyone's like saying. So, oh, is this it? I found it. I found it. I found it. This is random, but I'm watching Rain right now, and I have to say it's so underrated. Rain is a really good show. I was on one episode of it, and before I before I did an episode, I watched, like, all of the episodes that they had, and I loved it. Like, if you like, if you, if you're, okay, I think it's perfect for people like me. If you like Game of Thrones, but you would, like, like Game of Thrones if it had a little Jane Austen type of a vibe, like a very girly coming of age esque thing. Esque thing. Uh, then that show would definitely be for you. Rain is really fun. Oh my god, I love the smell of cinnamon. That's it's so dangerous because you want to just like take a big whiff, but it's cinnamon. You can't do that. Okay. So two teaspoons of cinnamon. Listen, I I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you, I got that ring, you know. But I do, but I do cook, but I do. I'm baking pumpkin bread. Never made it. Thought why not? Two teaspoons of kosher salt. <laughs> Look at my sound effects. Isn't that great? Don't you love? I pour everything over the sink because I just know I'm going to spill something. Oh, somebody's. Girl, you thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Uh, that would be an A and not an E and then. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry that my first reaction. Um. Uh... I've never heard that. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Hey. Thanks. Um, okay, how many teaspoons of kosher? Two. Oh, yeah, I did actually watch a video for this, and she said, like, that sounds like a lot of salt, but it's not. And as I'm doing this, it feels like a lot of salt, but... I'm like a dog or like a squirrel like I get like a sudden sound and I'm like <laughs> I also want to see what people are saying watch the 100 I you know what I started the 100 and I like my favorite character I think it was like in the first episode like my favorite character died and I was like oh and so I didn't keep watching I'm still here, I'm just grabbing baking soda. Or, wait, why am I looking here? What are you looking here? You guys got me nervous. Um, you like baking more or cooking? Baking. I'm terrible cook. Do not expect me to cook. I can't. I can't. I burn. I'm so sorry for this angle. Um, yeah, I burn everything. I like undercook like it's I can't cook I've I try and like I'll cook for myself because I'm like there's no danger in cooking for myself because if I make myself sick, I'm so sorry my sister was facetiming me <laughs> I need to text her and say I'm sorry mom Live stream. <laughs> she 
She never FaceTimes me, so maybe this is... I'm on live. She just got a dog. So I am trying to see that dog. Um, okay, one teaspoon of baking powder. And half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, this is so, like, I thought this would be really easy for me because I always talk when I cook, but this is, like, very stressful. I'm from, uh, I'm from Toronto. Toronto, Canada, baby. Ugh. Ugh. Um, yeah, I'm from Toronto. Love it. Although, I, it's so funny. I was always a city girl. Like, I always, like, whenever I film movies that, like, our location would be out of the city, I would just feel, like, depressed after a while. Like, I need to be in the city. But after this pandemic, I just... Now I don't know. I just feel stressed out. Like, I just want to be... Cottage core. Okay. Uh -uh. And the nut bat a nutmeg and cloves. Okay, nutmeg. Half a teaspoon. So I got whole nutmeg. And I'm gonna grate it. But that's so why did I do that? Why didn't I just get ground? Like I thought I was gonna be like, I'm gonna be fresh. But now I have to actually grate it. I'm gonna cut myself. I really am. Okay, sorry. I'm also trying to read what you guys are saying. How old were you on the monster? I turned 14 while I was filming. And I'm 19 now. I graduated high school like two years ago. Uh -uh. Okay. Do you like my sound effects? Do we have, like, I don't even know if I have, you know those, like, little graders? You know what I'm talking about? Like, when it's just, like, a little stick. Okay, guess I'm gonna use a cheese grater. <laughs> that works, too. How much nutmeg? Half a teaspoon. Where's my teaspoon? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Sorry. You guys just be out. Okay, I'm just gonna do it here. Um, like it seems messy. <laughs> I thought that was my nail. <laughs> it wasn't. Making a mess, oh yeah. Making a mess, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, my sister texted me. We have grated nutmeg. I couldn't find any, I swear. I looked and I couldn't find any. But the recipe does say, say freshly grated. So. So it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to show you the mess I just made. I'm not. Because this is social media, and I am allowed to filter out the bad stuff. I'm allowed to. That's how this works. Okay. <laughs> how am I going to do this? Be smart, be smart, be smart. Okay, I'm just gonna aggressively keep clean the kitchen after this. That's what I'll do. Oh, okay. Awesome! Cool! 
an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. Do I have ground cloves? Is my sister still watching? Do we have ground cloves? Because <laughs> that was the one that I, I didn't buy because I think we had it. But now I don't think so. Now I'm doubting myself. What song is stuck in your head? The song that's stuck in my head is, I think it's Again by Doris Day. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I have. Are you even prepared? No, I'm not. I'm not, okay? Call me out. I see the nutmeg now. Oh, wait, I think I see the cloves too. <laughs> okay. Guys, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. What are your feelings towards Florence Pugh and Harry Styles acting in a movie together? Um, it's... Oh, hey. Oh. It's the bisexual's dream. You know, it's... We really... We didn't know we needed it. But we've been blessed, and now we can't live without it. You know? That's how I feel. So... Okay, good enough. <laughs> this recipe is, we'll see how this goes. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. So I hope you guys believe in me too. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna... I like you. I don't give a fuck about your boyfriend. Did the Game of Thrones finale discussion happen yet? A little bit, but do you want me to hop back into it? Because I got a lot to say. Are we going to talk about Mad Hatter Shuttle? Mad Hatter Shuttle. I can keep going on. Like, let me, um, hold on. Let me just make sure I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. Let me grab my whisk and we'll talk about Game of Thrones. Because, okay, let me do my rundown. I think... Jamie and Cersei, I liked how that ended. That, I liked how that ended because there was no way they could stay alive after like all, you know, there was just no way that was gonna happen. So they had to die. And I think the best way for them to die, like if anyone got a hold of them, they would have been murdered. And it's just a case of how brutal the murder would be. So I was happy that they escaped and they were able to die alone, quickly, without pain, and dun dun, together. That was a very poetic death and I really appreciated that. Can I just, I love whisking dry ingredients. Whisking dry ingredients is my happy place. Okay, different bowl. I'm gonna set that aside. Grab a different um. <laughs> Sorry, I keep dropping my phone. Um, so yeah, I was happy with that. I, with Arya, I feel like fine with that ending. Like, okay, I guess. You know, like, I don't... I don't think they really knew what to do with her. So they were like, mm. Okay, wait, pause. I wanted to make my eggs room temperature and I didn't, I didn't take it. So here's my trick. I'm gonna get some hot water in a cup and let the eggs sit in some hot water for a bit. Not boiling, like I'm not cooking my eggs. Um, Did it, what did I say? What <laughs> favorite Game of Thrones death? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a big question. I'm going to say Ramsey Bolton. First off, because I love that character. He was so, such a good character to have on the show. And that death was amazing. He 
he got killed by his own hounds. By his own hounds that he used to murder other people with. He got killed. That was incredible. And Sansa watched. Like, that was a really good. Thank you for. Okay, I'm happy you agree. I'm happy you agree. Because I was really happy with that. And I really, I really liked him. Um, I'm not saying, like, I had a crush on him. But I'm not not saying that. And do I understand he's crazy? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Do I understand he's one of the worst, like, most villain, vile villains of all time? Yes, I do. I can't ignore the fact that something sparked in me. Like, what? Um, okay. So, this will be two eggs. <laughs> do you like my back and forth here? Two eggs and the pumpkin puree. It says a whole can, but in this recipe, it says a whole can is 15 ounces, but my can is 796 milliliters, which is far more than 15 ounces. So it's not a whole can. <laughs> and then ginger. How much ginger? <laughs> One tablespoon of finely grated. Okay. And one and a half cups of sugar. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me put my hair up. This is... What did I think about Daenerys? Okay, Daenerys... Like, I loved her all the way through, obviously. Who wouldn't? But that... Okay, wait, sorry. Now I have to open the can. Fuck. I'm so scared. I hate opening cans. I hate opening cans. Where's the can opener? Where is she? Y'all, I am so sorry. I feel like this is mayhem. Wait, like, on a real note, where's the can opener? Okay, wait. Let me see that I'm... Oh my, okay, so I'll keep talking about Daenerys, and then I'll get on Rob Stark. Okay. <laughs> this got so cute and, like, awesome to chaotic so quickly. So Daenerys, I really, like, there were a few moments where I found her annoying, but overall, I was really happy with her. I love, you know, like, who's going to hate on a, a powerful female empowerment story? I found the thing I was looking for before. Um, is this a can opener? No. I'm really exposing myself right now. You guys are gonna like think I'm stupid. I'm not. Rob Stark, let's discuss. He was so good, so, I wish like, that made me sob my eyes out. I still remember it. Season 3, episode 9. I just remember, like, cursing that season. That episode, I mean. Um, and it's disappointing because I wanted to see a lot more of him. Like, if he had to... I found it. Yes! Okay. If he had to die, he had to die. But for him to die that soon... Like, see, oh, season 3, episode 9, that's... We did get a lot, but I... Oh, and he had his... Okay, I'm doing this off camera. I don't want anyone to bully me right now. Okay. okay, this wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, you guys. Okay. I'll keep... You should have a YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys. Janet Jackson-ish. Now you're just flattering me. That's too much. Woo, woo, woo. Come on now. Um, oh my god. I'm getting the whiffs of pumpkin. Oh my god. Did you see that? Did you see I was about to make you smell it? Good thing she's pretty, am I right? Okay, so 15 ounces, 
is how many milliliters? 15 ounces to milliliters. 443. Okay. Let's do this. Guys, this is a chaotic journey, but we're going to get there. And uh, I'm making pumpkin bread. We're going to get there eventually. Okay. So I'm putting, because it says one can, but it says one can is 15 ounces, and this can is not. So if I have to measure it out. Oh my god, it smells so good. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not being... Here's the thing. Baking, they always say it's like an exact thing. It's chemistry and whatever. I agree. But then I watch, like, baking shows, and they're just <coughs> dumping whatever in there. And so I'm like, well, what is it? So I just decided, as long as you're enjoying the process, the final result, you know, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, then you did just waste a bunch of food. However, c'est la vie. C'est la vie. Oh. Okay, why am I not doing this on camera? Is that not like the point of... I'm so sorry, y'all. I, like, I feel like you guys are starting to understand how chaotic my brain is. I feel like you are. You should make a series of cooking with Ella. Wow, wow, wow. That'd be... That'd be fun. That would be fun. Except I'm, I'm just... I don't... I think I'm a very good cook. My mom, I do think she should have a cooking show. Okay, the ginger, 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 ginger. How much did it say? <laughs> one teaspoon plus one teaspoon. That's literally what it says. Is that Why can't they just say two teaspoons? Is that like a baking term I don't know about? Like one teaspoon plus one teaspoon is supposed to be something else? Beats me. Okay, I'm gonna do this fresh. And some people peel their ginger first. However, I watched the video before I did this. I know it seems like I'm really unprepared. But I did watch a video. And she said not to peel your ginger first. Oh, tablespoon. Oh, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. I was reading it wrong. I was reading it wrong. That's on me, okay? I... Messed up. That's on me. It's one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Okay. Now I'm stressed out. I'm going to break off a piece. Okay. Okay. This is stressful. Oh, but it smells so good. Okay. She said don't peel it, but I kind of wish I did. Fun fact, ginger water is actually good for your immune system. I know I have ginger tea every day, every morning, because it's good for your immune system and your digestive system. So it's flu season, you guys, and it's COVID, so probably a good idea to... Okay, I did wash my hands before this, so don't be freaked out that I'm touching it directly. Oh my god, I love the smell of ginger. What are your guys' favorite smells? <laughs> I like lavender, ginger, orange peels, cinnamon. Ginger tea good? I love ginger tea. I do like it a lot. I used to hate it. And then I just kind of force myself to keep drinking it because it's really good for you. And now I like it. I think you just have to make sure you get a, a good ginger tea. Like, because I did, for the longest time, have, we had this, like, stale ginger tea in the house. And it was really bad. But just make sure you have a nice, fresh one. 
Or you can make your own. You can just grate ginger and, and put honey. I always put honey in my tea. Doesn't matter what tea. I don't care if it's green tea. People think I'm crazy for putting honey in green tea because I'm gonna get it, but I love honey so much. Any excuse to have some honey, I'll take. Um, what are people saying? Oh, vanilla is a good scent. You're right. I do love the smell of vanilla. Oh, I'm happy we're talking about this. <laughs> Um, I love apple pie. I love apple pie too. Oh, should create the apple pie from Anna Green Gables. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cute. Oh, okay. Is that worrisome? feel fine. I just got like a huge whiff of ginger juice in my eye. Should I be worried? It doesn't hurt anymore. You guys have to be my doctor. Am I okay? Am I okay? Or should I rinse my eye? American and Mexican food. Yeah. What would we say is American food? Like burgers and steaks and fries? I love tacos. I used to not like tacos, but now I really like tacos. Do you like Italian food? Italian food's my favorite. We'll tell you if it goes bloodshot. Thank you. Yeah, keep me informed. I think we're okay right now. Okay. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. I'm just going to grate a little extra. Um, oh, and the eggs and the sugar. Okay. See, I could be working at a much faster pace. But I just thought, why do that when I could be taking all the time in the world? Why be functional when I could make this the longest process ever? I'm gonna crack my eggs. I'm scared to do this on camera. You know how you know how like beauty vloggers are like, I can't do my eyeliner on camera or like my eyebrows I can't do on camera. I feel like Oh, no, that was... Did you guys see that? Okay, that one wasn't as good, but... But no shells. No shells got in. So, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. You can't tell me anything. Okay. <laughs> one and a half cups of sugar. Come on, y'all. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, this is gonna come together and we're gonna say we did this together. This was a team effort. I'm proud of us. I am. <clears throat> See, when you're as short as I am, baking is a sport. You gotta get all ingredients. Do you play any sports? Baking baking um other than <laughs> no I don't I'm, I've never been a sports person I used to dance a lot like competitive dancing um one cup And a half cup. <laughs> do you cook your pasta al dente or do you simply overcook it? Oh, al dente. 
In fact, I like to do it like a minute last. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like, give me like, like al dente is like, it's got a bite to it. I want like, I want a bite, you know. What kind of girl were you in high school? Um, getting like a bookworm vibe. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think I was like a bookworm. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what kind of a girl I was like in high school. I think people would, I'm thinking of like people's perception of me in high school. And I think, I think people would have different opinions because I, I just changed so much like in grade nine I don't even want to talk about I don't even want to talk about grade nine and then grade 10 grade 10 I was up to no good okay I was I was up to no good and then grade 11 grade 11 was a good year for me I would say I don't know. I don't know what kind of girl I was like in high school. What kind of woman am I now? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. I would say. Actually, let's get serious. I am proud of myself because I learned this over this whole pandemic is that I am an introvert. And it's weird because I used to be an extroverted person. And so I just kept trying, I would get so upset when I would be drained from hanging out with people and all that. And now I've just accepted who I am. And I'm very proud of myself. Where that came, that whole spiel came from, I have no idea. Um, has anyone ever told you you look Hispanic? No, they haven't because I don't. Got a bite to it when I came for. Dante is... Agreeing with al dente. Go get him, chef. One might say I am little chef, as in Remy from Ratatouille. One of you has to make an edit of me with Remy from Ratatouille, because Remy from Ratatouille is my boyfriend. When did you start finding yourself? Oh, so we're going to get a good question going here. Let's get into it. I think... I think, like I still am, I, I think that journey won't ever end. However, I would say grade 10 is when I had to like really look myself directly and start asking questions and I would say grade 10 because I was unwell. Oh, I have to add oil. True, I forgot about that. One cup. That's a lot of olive oil. Am I crazy? Um, how many friends do you have? So many now that I met you guys. What are you cooking? Pumpkin bread. You look like that chill girl I would be friends with. I hope we'd be friends. I don't think I'm chill at all though. I think I'm very chaotic. But maybe not. People change. You never know. You never know. Oh my god. I... This is so much oil. I've never used this much oil in a recipe. Beautiful makeup, Bella. Thank you. I woke up today. And I just felt it. So I'm going to slowly put the oil in because I don't trust this. That's a personal choice for me. Pour moi. Mm, shit, you got a boyfriend. Come on now. Come on now. Ew. Huh. Be friends with me. Yeah. I'm French. Je t'aime. Je t'aime aussi, Mathilde. Did I sound stupid saying that? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this is a lot of oil and it's not really combining very well. But I'll keep working at it. <laughs> Hi, will you be my friend? Yeah. Oh, there, I always forget to check the little question thing. You're my crush. Oh, thanks. Okay, so it is coming together. You just have to stir it quite a bit. Which I can do, I can do that. Okay. That's aggressive and I know somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna say something. Hey. Favorite scary movie of all time? And who is your dream cast to work with? What genre would it be? Okay. Favorite scary movie of all time? I don't know. I don't know if I, like, because I don't really, like, I don't watch scary movies because I like to be scared. So I don't know. I don't know. And then, what was the other questions? Who's your dream cast to work with and what genre? <sighs> dream cast. Well, I mean, Robert Pattinson would have to be in it. Gonna have to. Oh my God, okay, maybe not Dreamcast, but let's just put this out there. Robert Pattinson, Dakota Johnson, Adam Driver. Actually, you know who was in my Dreamcast was Chadwick Boseman. He was, I thought he was brilliant. Um, I think Zendaya. Come on now. Who's your celebrity crush? Robert Pattinson. We're gonna, like I've got a lot. I've got a lot, I've got a few. The list is endless. Obviously I respect Timothy Chalamet. Obviously, you know, Robert Pattinson would have to be there. Zoe Kravitz. Um, who else? <laughs> What's your Hogwarts house? Um, I'm Hufflepuff, and I am proud of it. I love being a Hufflepuff. And you know what? Like, just picture, like, because when, you, when you're in a Hogwarts house, like, that's your aesthetic, too, that you have to live in. And, like, while Slytherin is, like, gives a great, like, dark academia vibe, I think... Hufflepuff would be the one I'd want to live in the most. I think Gryffindor would just be too aggressive. And Gryffindor is filled with people that are like, I'm the main character. It's like, why can't we just all, like, not everyone's the main character, not everyone's Heather, like, no one is. You are the main character of your own story. But also, like, don't push people aside just because you're the main character. Am I making any sense? I just... Something that I've seen with TikTok is that there's, like, so much self-deprecation of, like, that whole Heather thing. And then there's, like, way too much, like, I'm better than you because I'm the main character. It's like, ooh. Like, literally everybody on that app is hot. Everyone. So everyone's a main character, period. Am I making any sense or am I just tired? Um, okay. 
gently fold half of the dry ingredients into the egg mixture and then repeat. Okay. Okay. So when we're folding, we don't use the whisk. We use our little spatula. So here we go. I don't know if this bowl is big enough. We'll see. But guys, it's coming together. Are you proud of me? You are the chaotic fun, Heather. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the chaotic fun, Heather. I'll take that. What's your height? Um... I'm 6'1", so like someone with your... I'm 5'2". What on God's green earth are you making? Zoe! Zoe! I'm making pumpkin bread. Zoe! How are you, my lovely? Ma chérie? Okay, this is like... The video also said like don't overwork it because it'll make the bread dense, like too dense, so. I don't know, it's looking quite lumpy. So I think I have to work it a bit more. This is so stressful. It's not, I'm having fun. It's like, I want it to be good. Why is it lumpy? Ella speaking French. Oh my God, wait, my friend Quinn is helping me. Just a light fold. Okay, wait, Quinn. It's okay if it's lumpy, ha ha. Oh my God. <laughs> my friend Quinn, like I would get to do like a wedding cake. Like chef, like, like Gordon Ramsay. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's okay if it's lumpy. Okay. Okay. So I'll add. Now, now I'm like nervous that she's watching. Oh my God. I'm going to mess this up. She's going to be thinking I'm doing this so bad. Okay. It says to do it half and half, but I think I'm going to do it in thirds because I'm like worried. Oh, I'm so happy she's here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Let's see what. Mm, that's the most Ella thing I've heard, but I would like some. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in online class right now and I'm watching pumpkin bread. Yeah, I mean, you guys, I have four cancer placements in my birth chart. So you can be sure, even if I'm not great at baking, I will be doing it. Okay, a light fold. Okay. I'm like trying to be like so <laughs> I don't want to fuck it up. <laughs> I'm stressed out now. Somebody mentioned the sound and I just want to give them like extra. It's a great sound. Okay, I'm adding the last little bit. It smells like, you know what? I don't, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it smells amazing. <laughs> like, see, I go on these live streams, I'm like, this is funny. And then like people I know come on it and I'm like, oh, like, I'm a real person. I'm a real living person with an identity. People know I exist. What am I talking about? Mm -hmm. This is fun for me. I'm watching you while I'm cooking. Oh, what are you cooking? Actually, you guys, Quinn is li living in Paris. Like, Quinn is Emily in Paris, but, like, way better because, sorry. I'm sorry if anybody was a fan of that show. That show was not it for me. <laughs> I'm 
-hmm. Okay. Okay, it's coming together. I'm just going to do it. I don't want to overwork it like I've been told, like I've been instructed. But there are just some like dry patches that I just want to make sure get combined. But it's looking good. I think it's looking good. That show is so unrealistic. Yeah, I have a like also is it just me? Like Emily in Paris, like Emily, that character is rude. Like she's not nice to anyone. She's very selfish. Okay, I'm happy with it. <sighs> okay, so I think this is now we just transfer the batter into a prepared pan. Smooth the top with a spatula and scatter pumpkin seeds over the batter. Lightly pressing to adhere, sprinkle with a tablespoon of sugar. Okay guys, we're coming to the end. Apparently French critics are bashing Emily in Paris. I'm curious, you know what, I'll, now I wanna look up the French critics' opinion because I didn't like it at all. I did not like the show. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it smells so good. It smells so good. Ugh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah! says to smooth it out so it bakes evenly actually I'm also gonna <laughs> sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry you had to see that it's just like that's my way of smoothing it out queen oh and now you guys we have another amazing woman in here jewel jewel is one of the most powerful women I know period I don't know what else to say. Like, always looks gorgeous. Always. Always has something to say. Even if it's nonsense. And sometimes it's nonsense, but it's so good. Okay. I'm going to top the top. Top the top with pumpkin seeds. Top the pumpkin bread batter with pumpkin seeds. I think it's at half a cup. I did not measure this out. But I'm going to just do me and sprinkle. And then it says to press it in. So it adheres. <laughs> this is when I don't have to think too much. Like this is where I'm like, I'm a chef. Oh my gosh. I love my pumpkin baby so much. You guys. What should we name him? Winston. I'm really feeling Winston for him. Do we agree? <laughs> okay. And then how much sugar did it say to put on? One tablespoon of sugar on top. Okay, okay. You guys, we're getting there. Okay. This is where I'm gonna like Put on way too much in one spot so i'm just okay 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 we're doing it we're good we're good so pumpkin bread like i would you know also mention that it's cake like it's not bread but you know life short eat cake every day Seems like a lot of sugar, but um, hey, whatever Winston wants. I'm gonna give it one last shake. Eek, you guys! That was not a disaster. Okay, bake 
in the bread for 80 to 90 minutes. You guys, there he is. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that while it's runny. That's what he looks like right now. Oh, hold on. How do I flip the camera? Right here. There he is right now. A little spooky looking. Lots of sugar right here. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. And I'm going to put it in the oven. I'll put it on for 80 minutes. I'll check it at 40 and turn it around. Oh, you guys. I'm going to burn myself. No. Oh, I didn't mention it's at the oven's at 325. So I put the timer on for 40, and then I'll flip it around. Yep, that's Winston. There's Winston, you guys. And I'll I'll post on my story later for when he's done. We can do a taste test, but that's it. That took way longer than it should have, but we got there. We got there, and I'm proud of us. Aw, Quinn gave me a little applaud. Thank you. I needed that. Na, 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 na. Why are you ignoring me? Oh, I'm not ignoring you. I didn't see that you messaged anything else. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm gonna, oh, wait, let me be like a real chef right now. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna head out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to wrap these things up. I feel like if this was a YouTube channel, it's so easy. I just go like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you want to see next video. But here, I don't know what to say. Peace out. Hope y'all are well. Love you. See you later. I'll update you on the pumpkin bread. This is going to suck if it turns out terrible and I'm like, Rrr. well, c'est la vie. <laughs>